Hi everyone, welcome back. All right, so we are in Falkreath right now and we are on our way to the Dark Brotherhood because we have a couple quests to turn in. Okay, well, let me just take a look at my quests here. What do I have set up? All right, we need a report back to Astrid. Let me just turn that off. Okay. Perfect. So we need to go like this way. I feel like this is wrong. What is it? Okay, this is fine. We're taking kind of the back way there, I guess. <laughs> I'm gonna have to change into my Dark Brotherhood outfit in just a second. What the fuck? Okay. I don't remember killing someone there, but I may have. <laughs> Anyways, let me just change into my uniform here. Okay, so I'll put on that, that, and that. Uh, oh crap, I don't have a backpack on. Okay, just hold on. Um, I'm gonna have to wear different boots. There we are, that's better. Okay. And then I just want to take off the arrows. There we are. Okay, we're ready to go inside. Huh. Okay. <laughs> All right, so I just want to review this quest quickly. Okay, um, so the cure for madness. While I was away, Cicero went berserk and tried to kill Astrid. He fled the sanctuary with Abjorn in pursuit. I need to locate them both and then kill Cicero. All right, so I chose to leave the sanctuary and not kill Cicero. So now I'm going to report to Astrid and lie to her, I think. Arnbjorn is safe, and for that you have my thanks. Oh, but what of the Arnbjorn. fool? Is Cicero dead? Yes. Yes, Cicero is dead. Excellent. Once again, you've proven yourself a born assassin. Tell you what, why don't you hold on to Shadowmere a while longer? Oof. He's a fine steed and hasn't been ridden nearly as much as he should lately. And now that this Cicero <laughs> mess has been mapped up, yeah, we can get back to the matter at hand, hmm? Uh, yeah, so about, uh, your horse, Shadowmere, it actually died, but it might be resurrected. <laughs> All right, so, right, so what's my next task? There's just one more target before we strike out at the Emperor. Okay. Have you by chance heard of the Gourmet? Read his cookbook? It's become quite a phenomenon. Ooh, I haven't read the book. The to cook for the Emperor at a special dinner. You'll kill him. Steal his writ of passage, and assume the role of master chef. Festus has been spearheading this part of the assassination plan. He's close to uncovering the identity of the gourmet. You should report to him. I have not read that book, but I've seen it multiple times. Until next time, sister. All right. So before we talk to Festus... I need to talk to Deacus about these contracts. Let me just find him. And then I need to find a copy of that book, The Gourmet. I know for sure there's a copy in Whiterun um, at, um, what's that guy's name? It starts with a B. Bellamere or whatever. I think that's his name, his shop. So we might have to go to White Run and read the book. Still here? What's the matter? Can't handle what I'm throwing your way? 
You smell like dead cat. Can I assume Marandru Joe has been taken care of? Yes. Ah, well done, well done. Thank you, sir. Those caravanners can be an elusive bunch. Takes a fair bit of stalking to take one down. But then, that's half the fun, isn't it? Here's your payment. Well earned indeed. Dekus is dead. Personally, I've always found Argonians to be incredibly unpredictable opponents, especially near water. In any event, nice work. Here's your payment. And Nora Riath is dead. Ah, so the hunter came to know the fear of the hunted, hmm? Your payment, my friend. Well Thank done. You. Any more contracts? Just one right now, actually. I need you to eliminate an old woman named Agnes, a servant in Fort Greymore. Tell me about Agnes. She's a maid, old and feeble. But with this contract, it's much more a matter of where than who. Your political affairs are your own, but any allegiance you may have in the ongoing war could very well affect your access to Fort Greymore. Happy hunting. Where is Fort Graymore? Okay, I've been there. That's near White Run, which is perfect. So I need to go there to read the book. Okay. Uh, right, I also have to go to Riften. Okay, recipe for disaster. I must speak with Festus Crex about my next target, the renowned chef known only as the Gourmet. I wonder if this is a coffee here. No. Hello, Festus. There you are. Took your sweet time dealing with Cicero, eh? Now let's get down <laughs> to business. Astrid told you about the Gourmet, I hope. Yes. That I need to kill him and take on his identity. Quite so. But first, you'll need to learn who he is. Assuming, of course, that the gourmet actually is a he. Could be a woman, for all we know. Okay. Um, let's remain silent. You know, maybe I was wrong about you after all. Anyone who's smart enough to shut up and listen can't be all bad. In my, um... Investigations. I came upon this. It's a copy of the Gourmet's cookbook. <laughs> but not just any copy. It's signed, you see. Seems to be a message from the Gourmet to one Anton Varan. I've tracked Varan to the keep in Markarth. It would seem he's the cook. Markarth, eh? And this Anton Varan knows the Gourmet's true identity? I believe so. Therefore, you are to obtain that information from Varan, who the Gourmet really is and where he can be found. Oh, and when you're done with Varan, kill him. Loose ends and all that. Of course, Next, of course. Next, you'll have to... Are you still paying attention? <laughs> Remain silent. Huh. As I was saying, you'll need to kill the Gourmet, of course. But what's more, you need to get his writ of passage so you can take his place. Oh, and if you can, hide his body. The longer it takes for anyone else to determine his real identity, the better. Now off with you. All right. Tell me about the cookbook. Uncommon taste. It was published a few years ago. It became a sensation throughout the Empire almost overnight. The recipes were hailed as both practical and decadent. I made a few of the gourmet's dishes myself, actually. His roast mutton with regard berry sauce is to die for. But his chocolate pate gives me the runs. Okay. Uh, what else can you tell me about the gourmet? Uh, nobody knows his true identity. Well, nobody except Gaius Morrow, and you've already taken care of him. 
Well, I do know the gourmet was classically trained in traditional Breton cuisine in High Rock. So, that's where he must have met Anton Varan. In any event, our anonymous chef shares a passion for food with all of Tamriel. And that anonymity will prove the Emperor's undoing. Okay. Yes, Gaius Morrow, on orders from his father, arranged for the gourmet to come to Skyrim months ago to serve as the Emperor's personal chef. But the Emperor cancelled his journey at the last minute. Morrow was smart. Kept the gourmet around in case things changed. And so, the gourmet has remained in seclusion somewhere in Skyrim on indefinite hold. Probably feels like a prisoner. <laughs> But you'll fix that. Remember, right. the Markarth Keep. That's where you'll find Anton Varan. Probably cooking up all of the gourmet's recipes, passing them off as his own. Okay. Did he give me a copy of of the uncommon taste I could just read now? To my old and dear friend Anton, I will never forget the kindness you and your entire Varan family paid to me when I visited High Rock those many years ago. We were both young and impetuous and foolish, and those were dangerous times for us all. But we knew even then, as we surely know now, that our battlefield is the kitchen, our sword the spoon, our enemy hunger. And now, thanks to your guidance and friendship, I can share our love of Breton cuisine with all of Tamriel. For this cookbook is not just a collection of recipes, but the sum total of my life's work and a testament to the power of passion. Your friend in food, the gourmet, and common taste by the gourmet. Congratulations by opening this volume, you have taken the first step on a truly epic journey, a voyage through the vast landscape of Breton food and its myriad joys and wonders. You will explore scents, flavors, and textures so exquisite they will seem impossible, but they are more than possible indeed by following the carefully selected recipes presented in this cookbook, you will prepare extraordinary dishes with such ordinary ease those around you will be will suspect sorcery. But the only magic is that which exists in your own heart, the passion you possess for creating delicious, amazing food that can be prepared easily and enjoyed endlessly. Start here and someday you too can be a gourmet. So there's some at Soufé. Okay. So these are just like recipes. Oh, does he like talk about them? Do you expect me to give away the secret to my most popular dish? Well, guess what I will for you. That secret, my friends, is you. That's right. Potage Le Magnifique is delicious and extraordinary using just the simple ingredients listed. You will create it. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Well, let's get out of here. Greetings, sister. Greetings, sir. Need something? Okay, so I think we're just gonna walk to Markarth. Just want to make sure good I have that selected all right let's go actually there was a path um, do I want to take this path potentially we'll just see yeah I think this is the way I want to go I just want to confirm again yes
Good, 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 good. Beautiful. Poor Khajiit. That's not the one I killed, right? No, the one I killed had a name. Oh crap, I stepped in the bear trap. <laughs> I was trying to avoid it. Hello, sir. I have nothing to say to you. Now move along, or I'll order my guards to attack. <sighs> Hello, sir. Wait, I know you. There's no mistake. You're a wanted woman, and it's time to pay for your crimes. Mm, 
How many chance I could talk you into overlooking this? All right, but you just watch yourself. Oh. Next time, I might not be so lenient. Nice. Okay, I guess I'm wanted for something. I know I have like a thousand coin bounty in like a white run area, but this is more of the Markarth area. I wonder what my bounty is uh, <laughs> over here. I'm kind of nervous now for like entering the city. I'm gonna save the game. <laughs> okay, let's see. Good. I'm on my way to Solitude to join the Legion. A united empire is better for everyone. Mm-hmm. That is true, I think. Interfering with official Thormor business. You're interfering with official Thormor business. Sorry, gentlemen and ma'am. Okay. Good, we're almost there. It's not bad, it's like nine minutes of like playtime. Okay. Made it. Yes. Okay, what am I doing? Um, I have been tasked with killing the gourmet, but the only person who knows the famous chef's true identity and location, a man named Anton Verane. I must get this information from Anton and then kill him. Okay. And I have to hide his body somehow. Okay, so first I gotta get out my killing knife. There we go. Gentlemen. Wait. I know you. What is it? Damn those Forsworn. At least they can kill people in my city. I'll have mad and I doesn't matter to him. We fight them where they live. We won't have to fight them here. <laughs> I 
have to work, or Anton will rip my head off. Yes, yes, for the hundredth time, I am a Breton. I was born in High Rock, and then I came here. I am not a rich man. Um... Remain silent. Who are you? What do you want? Remain silent. The gourmet. Who is he? Where is he? The... the gourmet? Never. I don't know what led you here, but nothing will betray my trust. I'll take the secret of the gourmet's identity to my grave. For the Dark Brotherhood, that can be easily arranged. The Dark Brotherhood? Now, now, wait a minute. Let's not get hasty. I mean, surely my friend wouldn't want me to endanger my own life, right? Look, his name is Balagog Gronolobe. He's an orc. The gourmet's an orc. He's staying at the Night Gate Inn. That's all I know. Now, now you'll let me go, right? So, we're done? I heard something. Ah. All right. I think that's a job well done. I don't think I, oh, I can make stuff. I think only fish, cause I just have fish. I can make that. Okay. <laughs> Why can't I run? That was weird. <laughs> Must kill the gourmet who is actually an orc named Balagog Gro Nolab. Once he's dead, I must steal his writ of passage, and if I can manage to hide the body, I'll receive a bonus. Oh, it's his body I have to hide. Oh, okay. Uh, and he's at like some uh, something in the night inn. There. Okay. Perfect. Um, okay. Interesting. Hmm. Right. Right. Okay. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to take a carriage to Riften and I'm going to turn in all of my quests there with the Thieves Guild. And then we'll take a carriage to Whiterun and then we'll walk to the, the inn. And then I could also do that um, contract that... Um, 
uh, Nazir gave me because that's kind of near White Run. Oh, did you need something? Huh? My you broke favorite out of drink with those four Let's get. Okay. Traveling in the reach is dangerous. You need a good carriage. Bent a few folks' arms the wrong way. That's right. Whole group of the natives called the Forsworn rose up against the Norns. Drove them out. Then old Frick Stormcloak came with his militia. That must have been a sight to see him shouting folks to death. You'd think that'd be the end of it. But those Forsworn are still in the hills. And they're as vile as wolves. Okay then. Uh, I just want to hire your Where carriage. do you want to go? Across the wrapped, across the map to Riften, Climb and back and we'll be off. Thank you, sir. Get up there. Okay. Sorry, lass. I've got important things to do. We'll speak another time. Actually, let me finish the heist job with Vex first. <laughs> Out with it. Time is mine. I've, I've completed the heist job. Oh, you're back? I suppose you'll be wanting your pay then. Thank you. These jobs aren't going to finish themselves, you know. All right, Delvin. I need you to make your way to Solitude and talk to Erica. He's looking to run some kind of a shield job. Now, he's not exactly going to welcome you with open arms, but keep you cool. Do this job right, and we've just made an important friend out there. I will do that. I've completed the numbers job. If you don't watch it, I may actually start to respect you. Job well done. So what's the special request? I want you to head out to Markov and speak to Endon. He's a silversmith. He has some kind of shop there. His father was a good friend of the guild back in the day. And we could really use his family's influence back on our side. Okay. Hey, this guild needs the coin. Walking away without taking work is not going to make you popular around here. You just gave me two jobs, and I just turned in two jobs. All right. The dainty slowed. Uh, Erica, a wealthy merchant residing in solitude, has requested assistance from the Thieves Guild. And then silver lining. And then a silversmith residing in Markarth has requested assistance from the Thieves Guild. All right, perfect. Um, we will definitely work on that. Um, okay, I think now I want to do this kind of secret trials because it's like super close to Riften. And then we can go to the Whiterun area. Took the wrong door, my bad. Sorry, lass. I've got important things to do. We'll speak another time. Do I have things to sell? Maybe Even I could try. Wise, you better not make trouble. Hello, sir. I've got all sorts of weapons for the discerning. Take a look. 
Let's see, can I sell anything? Because I am carrying a bunch of like stuff. Um, I'll sell that. I'll sell that. Sell that. Keep that. Ooh. Oh, I want to sell that, but he's... He can't afford... I should keep that. Uh, he can't afford that. Yeah, sell that. Uh, sell that. Any potions? Can I get rid of anything that I have that's weird? Not really. Hmm. Do I have like a lot of something? I do. Oh, do you know I can sell a copy of that? Anything else I have a lot of? No. Okay. All right. All right then. Um. I need to talk I to with the, guild master. I'll the still fence smash girl. Your skull if you try Thank you. Welcome to the cozy little family. That... Oh, a bit of this and a bit of that. Can you afford to buy my Daedric armor? No, you can't. That's fine. Until next time. Sorry, right, let's get out I've of here. Important things to do. We'll speak another time. Wait. No, I actually think that's where I want to go. Do I want to go to the Ratway Vaults? Oh, fuck, I always get lost going out here. Okay, that's right. I made that mistake the first time. <laughs> I the last need person to leave. that made trouble for Veckel ended up floating in the canal. Catch my drift. Go. Where's the way out? Why am I struggling so hard with this? It's this door. It's not the rat wave. Oh, no, wait. That's right. It's the store. I always miss this every time. There we go. Okay, and then if I go up this way and then turn this way. Oh yeah, I have to pick up Froki's bow from that troll cave or whatever. That's near Whiterun, so I can do that then. I think that's also kind of on the way to the Nightshade Inn. I believe. Okay. Go this way. What is it? You guys were saying on like a clear day, I can catch a glass fish in this lake, right? Is that correct?
Oh my god, this is a long walk. It's okay, we should get there soon. At least that's a pretty walk. Take the path up. I need to change my clothing. I'm dressed as an assassin. I should dress as a warrior. So he respects me a little bit. I think he'd appreciate it if I wore the dragon bone mail. And my ethereal crown. There we are. All right, Froki. Years old, and I could take you. Oh, you Let's hear it. Need something? I defeated the guardian troll. Then you finally know what it means to be a true hunter in the Nord way. For this, you have earned the blessing of kind and can count me as a friend. Until Thank you, sir. Time. Yes, that's it. What does this blessing of kind do for me? It's nice I got his friendship. You sent me on a three-part quest for your friendship. <laughs> That's the reward? <laughs> your friendship? Okay, if I go to, what is it, powers? People and creatures. No, active effects. You do more combat damage, ancient knowledge. Okay. Where is this blessing of kind? What do you mean I've earned the blessing of kind? I don't see no blessing of kind. Okay. Sure. Maybe I should go back in and talk to him. Just to make sure I didn't miss anything before I leave, because I'll probably never come back here. You're not as dumb as you look. That's no way to greet a friend. Need something? Can I take things from there now? And hi. Okay, well, that was very anticlimactic. <laughs> oh, now it's raining. All right, well, okay, sure. Okay, I guess, uh, let's go back to Riften. 
so we can take a carriage to Whiterun. That's that way, okay. This road curves, right? Yeah, it looks like it does. Okay. I'm just gonna stay on the path. I don't wanna run into like vampires or anything. They're kind of a pain in the ass. Damn, you're fast. What the fuck? Okay, music, you're very dramatic right now. Okay, I'm like, oh, where am I? Okay, bruh, I don't have like, I don't, I don't want to fight you right now.
Okay, so I'm in Riften. Now I just need to get to the carriage. Uh, can I go around this way? Oh my god, where is the friggin'? Okay, it's over here. Perfect. All right, sir. White run, please. Need a ride? Where do you want to go? Climb and back, and we'll be off. I can't wait here forever. There once was a hero named Ragnar the Red who came riding to right run from old Rorik's day. Aw, so beautiful. Alright, let me talk to Ayla first and see if she has like a freaking um totem quest for me. <laughs> Since we're here, we'll just stop in quickly. And then I can also go to my house and drop off a lot of what I'm carrying, because I'm like on the verge of being over encumbered. <laughs> Oh, hello, Sneaky. Okay, so first... Be careful! We'll just go here. Okay, let's see what I can drop off here. Do I have any... Oh, do you know, I could probably just sell that. Um... Thoughts for a quest. I have two of those. Let me store one of those. I can sell that. Okay. Apparel. I really want to sell that, but like nobody can afford to buy it off of me. So we're just going to store it for now because it's heavy. Oh, that's what he gave me. Damage taken from animals is reduced by 10%. Bows do 5 Ah, oh, We'll hold on to that. I probably won't change into it, but... That's okay. Nothing here. I'm fine with that. Okay, we'll go to Bellathor shop and we'll just like sell some stuff. I should actually purchase some healing potions and make some healing potions because I'm out. So we'll do that quickly while we're here. Wait, I know you. No. Oh, I do have a thousand coin bounty. I gotta be careful around the guards. These fruits and vegetables are disappointing, Carlotta. I get them fresh from the farms daily, Yasmin. What are you looking at? You I'm not from afraid my of you, farm. You know. They'd be twice as fresh. That's not how you, like, market yourself and do business, Nazim. You just gotta offer her a better deal. If not, let me know. I might have it stored away. Alright. You look rather pale. Could... Ah, so you're an alchemist then. Okay, let's see what we have for healing potions. I will take that. I will take that. Let me sell some stuff to you. I can sell that to you. I can sell that to you. Uh, you know what, I'm never gonna use that. I don't need that. Uh, uh, sell that. Sell that. Uh, sell that. 
Okay. Miscellaneous. What can I get rid of? I'll just sell that because those are heavy. Oh, that's heavy. I can just sell that. Uh, I thought I'd use one of these. I thought I had two going into saving, um, not saving, to like healing Farkas. Whatever. Maybe it's a glitch. Uh, sell that. Sell that. I'll just sell that. There we are. Okay, good enough. Come back anytime All right. if you need a well, Let's just go to Bellathor's and see if he has any healing potions for sale, and then we'll talk to Ayla. Okay, so this is Bellathor's. Right be a here. lot warmer and a lot happier. With it. Everything's for sale, my friend. I'd even buy one of your relatives if you're looking to sell. <laughs> Oh, a bit of this and a bit of that. Mm-hmm. We need for potions. I'll take that. I'll take that. All right. I'll take your money, but I make no promises of a large return on your investment. These are troubled times, after all. Sure. Ah, the sound of clinking coins. Even better, the sound of clinking coins in my hand. All right. Do come back. Probably will since I invested in your business. All right, Let's see my girl Ayla now. Oh my God! Wait, Let's go. I know you. All right, where is she? Friends like you are hard to find and very valuable to me. You're someone. Do you have guidance for me, Harbinger? Looking for work? The Jarl of the Rift has asked for our help. It seems that predators have taken up residence and have been attacking farmers and travelers. Fine. Someone's nah. got to head out there and take care of the beasts. Fine. Be cautious. Beasts are not nearly as predictable as men. Give the thing a quick death. Honey Strand Grove. What the hell is that? Mmm. That is so far from like everywhere. I'll have to do that when I'm near Riften again, I guess. All right. Oh, well, that sucks. Okay, so then, let, let's see. So this one here is Markarth. This one here is Solitude. That's that inn. This one here. I might do this on my, like, way back. Or it's just right there. I could kill Agnes first. And then head off this way to the inn, which is, like, somewhere over here. I think it's like right there. Yeah, maybe I'll do this one first just to like get it out of the way. Hmm. Ah, oh, what a beautiful day though. Okay, and I think right here, guys, is where I'm going to end the game here for today. So at the start of next video, I think what I'm going to do is we're going to kill Agnes. 
And then we will do this recipe for disaster quest. But on the way there, I'll have to stop by that Trill Cave and get Froki's bow. Because I didn't pick that up when I was in there. So that's kind of the plan for next video. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. And I will see you again soon. Bye.